it's a bit windy. But this huge Arrhenius quadratus is miles ahead of all the other ones that I've seen today. I'm on Oak Tree Heath and this is a well advanced adult. And all the other ones I've seen are all still juveniles and subadults. That's her little hide there where she's just caught that bit of prey. But these are fantastic old weavers. And they make a big orb web in low vegetation, especially common on heathland. With a, a dumbbell like retreat in foliage like this. Let's we'll see if we can find her out. And here she is. All Arrhenius quadratus, called quadratus because of the four markings in each quadrant, sort of thing. But they come in a variety of colours, and it depends on. On the plant that they're living on. If you get, if you get one of these on dock, on the dead flower heads of dock, they're usually purple. But you'll get others that are sandy coloured or olive coloured. But a lot of them, on Kaluna like this, are this lovely brown colour. This is quite a dark chocolate one, but they're an absolutely amazing spider. And say one of a group of Four, including Arrhenius diadematus, which is your common garden cross spider that everyone has in the garden. You've got this one, which is Arrhenius quadratus. You've got Arrhenius marmorius, which is even more fantastically patterned than this, or does have two colour forms though. And they're absolutely amazing. Big chunky spiders. So we'll put her back there. No harm done. No spiders were harmed in the making of this video. And I just wanted to show that because they don't usually come out till dusk. That's when all the webs are, are made. In fact, we've got one here, look. You see the size of that one. And they just, just dropped down, unfortunately. There's one there that was tiny. They say dusk, they all come out and spin new webs usually. But they're cracking things. And this is Oak Tree Heath, just doing the August survey here. And a few bits, including that.